let's go out and take a look at my new motorcycle. So I know most of you guys that watch the channel come for the weed. Oops, let's get that mess out of there. But uh, some of you guys come for the motorcycles. And, well, almost two months ago now, I got a new... Oh, excuse me, one more time. No, it's not coming. Sorry, about two months ago, I uh, got a new-to-me motorcycle. I went through a, from having my Suzuki Intruder 1400 to having ooh, a Honda VTX 1800. I did a quick video where I just showed it running, but I didn't really explain anything. Um, for all you knew, it could have just been a bike that uh, I was looking at. So let's go outside. I'll give you guys uh, who were true to the fan channel and uh, want to see all the crap I do uh, a little tour of the bike. First, let's just start by apologizing about the state. Um, I just cannot keep it clean, even when I keep it covered. Um, but this is it, you guys. Um, it's got a cute little hypercharger on it. Got a set of Vance and Hines. Um, sound pretty good. They have been debaffled. Um, I was getting quite a pop on D cell, but I got that figured out. Uh, turned out that. Uh, the exhaust was just a little loose. Um, but yeah, this is it. Nice custom flames. Uh, the seat is not nearly as comfortable um, for my wife as the intruder was. But we're dealing with that. I don't know if you guys can make out uh, the paint on it. I bought it... Um, about a hundred kilometers away from me but the guy I bought it from said it was painted somewhere very close to where I live um, this is my wife's little bike that's a Honda Rebel 250 um, it's kind of a part right now I took the carb off it the other day and cleaned that out uh, it wouldn't run without the choke on um, so I cleaned it all out took some sludge out uh, put it back together and got it running um, then I had to change the rear sprocket right there. And when I changed the sprocket, I did something really stupid. And I detached the brake, rear brake from down here um, instead of up here. And now when I'm trying to get these little splines back on here and I go to push it on, I'm physically pushing um, this piece in. So I'm going to have to remove the rear tire again takes this cover off the drum just to put this damn piece on um, then put the seat back on and it's finally good to go I got it idling for her without um, needing to choke anymore which it hasn't done since she got it uh, we put new plugs in it new battery carbs cleaned freshly um, the tank even though it looks like it's in pretty shitty shape on the outside is really clean on the inside I'm very impressed I just gotta get that brake fixed now and the seat on and she is good to go this is uh i guess it belongs to both of us uh, it's an 800 vulcan classic um this thing is a monster i love this fucking bike um, i love the ride of the round town on days when i didn't feel like uh, getting the big guy out but it's not running properly um as of lately it I don't know how to explain it. It just doesn't sound like it's running. Like it's only half running. I don't know how else to explain it. I don't have a battery in it right now where I would show you. Um, but I knew, do need to get a battery for it. Um, because I do want to get it running and have it as a second bike. So I guess the first thing to do, put the new battery in it. Um, I'm going to change the spark plugs. I'm going to take the carb off and clean that out or the carbs. I'm not sure if it's one or two. Um... And yeah, we'll get that up as a second bike and uh, probably keep it or, I don't know, maybe trade it for a four-wheeler or something fun fun for the family. That is the old sprocket off my wife's bike. Would barely drive. And then I just look like a crazy guy talking to my phone outside as my neighbors come out. 
Um, but yeah, that was, uh, well, that was my bike and the other bikes. 